Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 4.0, and today is day 59. So yesterday we talked about email templates within designs, and I showed you how to create your own custom template. Today I wanted to kind of uh, put that together with campaigns and kind of give you a refresher. We've done this before, but just to show you one more time since it's fresh in your mind, how to create an email campaign. So here we are on the email tab. I would come in, click on create a new campaign, and then I'm gonna choose email. And then I can put in the campaign name. So yesterday we were doing a, a email around 510 Moonstone Way. So I would put that in and it was just listed. I'm going to choose, my goal was advertised listing. And I do still have a choice to connect command to MailChimp, but I'm most likely paying for an account here or I only have one user list. In command email, I get 5,000 free emails per month and I can have as many lists as I would want to. So uh, unless you have a very specific reason where you already have built out audiences, perhaps in your paid account at MailChimp, I would recommend using command email. Once I click on set up campaign, I'm gonna get taken into the email configuration steps where I can select my account. I only have the one. I would choose my recipients list or create a new one. When I click on create new list, I can actually go through and search for a particular contact. I can search by tag and choose which tag I want to utilize. I would wanna make sure that I enter that list name and that would be who I could send that out to. If I've previously created a list, then I could come in. So here was my list of buyers uh, from 724. I might wanna go into that. I could edit that list and then find some additional buyers if I had some new ones, make sure everyone had been tagged appropriately. Then I'd wanna come in and uh, the send from, send reply to is still correct. This is check out, out, there we go, our newest listing, 510 Moonstone Way, something along those lines. So whatever the subject line of the email was that you wanted, and then you're gonna click on select design content. This is when it's gonna open you to the email templates that you've created. And I'm gonna choose the one that we created yesterday. I can actually even do some edits from this screen. So this basically kind of opens up designs, if you will. Uh, you can see at the top, it's already been saved. But if there was anything that I wanted to change, I could still do that. If not, I would click on save and exit. And that's gonna take us back to the campaign screen where on the right hand side, you can see a preview of what the email is going to look like. And I could still come back in. If I saw something I didn't like, I would click on update design, click on it, make the changes, and then save and exit again. Once I'm good with everything on the right hand side, I have some decisions. So I would always recommend that you preview it just so you get one more shot. Again, at the top here, this is the desktop view. This is gonna be what it looks like on a tablet. And this is what it's gonna look like on a mobile device. So once I'm done with the preview, I can choose whether I want to test that email. I would probably recommend that as the best practice. Send a test email to yourself. I might even look at opening it on my phone and on my desktop just to see kind of how it looks on both. And then I can choose to either send it immediately, save it as a draft. Maybe I'm working on something, but I want approval from someone else on my team, the buyer's agent, whatever it might be. Or I could actually schedule it for some point in the future. So three options there once you review the test email that's been sent to you. That's it for today, guys. Day 59, quick and easy, just kind of a refresher from yesterday, how to create the design, and then today, how to actually send that out. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day, and as always, I look forward to speaking with you again real soon.